Right, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. And today we're going to take a quick look at a new piece of kit I've been sent out by Flextail Gear. This is the Flextail Gear uh, Mini Fire Pit and Grill. Okay, it's it's very light, compact. All right, as you can see there, it's very small, less than half the length of my arm, and uh, yeah. So this is going to be my first time using it. So let's have a look how it goes. All right, so obviously it comes in a little stuff sack. All the main information, details about sizes, weights and everything will be in the description below, okay? Because I, I just can't remember things like that off by hand. I don't want to be sitting here looking at my phone for ages trying to tell you at all. So check the, check the information down below, okay? So inside of the, inside the bag, you get these two bits. These fit to the, the pit and you put your grill on top of them. Okay, so it comes in another little plastic bag. I'll just put that on top of that so it doesn't blow away. And as you can see, this is the actual fire pit uh, itself. And it's got a retaining, a retaining strap on it. So we'll just take that off, put that one side. And inside of there, we'll have eight little bits, eight little rods. And these are what make up your actual grill. So as you can see, it's a sheet of metal, like like a grill type stuff. Okay, obviously it's fire resistant because this is where you have your fire on it. And inside the two large metal uh, sleeves on each side, you have foldable legs that come out like so. And then what you do is you get one of these and you, they've got like square holes and these are square. Put one end in and put the other end across from site, one side to the other, okay. And what that does is it keeps it nice and steady and it gives you a little bit of a dip on the actual mesh as well, which helps you hold your fire when you get your fire started. Just do the same with the other one. And then the next part is, okay, I'm just gonna put, place that on the ground. Hopefully you can see it. And then you've got these little rods, okay, there's eight of them. They've got little hooks on each end. And then what you have to do is, on each of the little divots on here, just put one of them on. And then you've got to sort of like, physically pull it up to get on, like so. Okay, so we'll just quickly put all these on. And hopefully that will stay on. I'm just going to do the ends first. Like so. So obviously if I wasn't recording this, it would be done a lot quicker. I think you'd probably get them up in about a minute, minute and a half easy. All right, ready to get your fire going. So basically, that's your setup there, okay? It's enough to get like a fire for, for like one or two people to sit around and to cook on as well. Um, it's about just under the length of my hands, the, the height that's going to be off the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in front of us. I'll get the camera set up at a better angle so you can see it better. And we'll just talk, quickly walk around, talk through the, um, the way, it's, way it looks set up. And then we'll get a fire going on it and see how it works. Okay then, so here we have it. Just move that into place. These do tend to slide a little bit, okay. Um, so just be aware of that. That's something we'll talk about later on. But that's that's your setup here, okay. As you can see, the legs I was talking about earlier, these just retract down, and they've got a nice little bit of a, an angle coming out the bottom for a bit of a footing, okay. And then that's the whole setup. As you can see, the grill and everything. Okay, so we're just going to place that there. Right, so now you've had a little quick close-up of it. What we're going to do is, I've got a little fire lighter here. I'm just going to put that in the middle. Spread it out a bit. And then we'll just get a lighter, quick and easy. Set that alight. I see it quick and easy and the wind blows it out. There we're gone. Okay, 
So that's the light. So I mean, these grills move around and then we'll just get a, a few little twigs in. It's not to have a massive fire, you know what I mean? You've just got to be, obviously, take it easy with it, like. And I've got loads of these little bits. What else we'll do, we'll just keep laying them up along the side there. Till this catches. So there we have it, look. As you can see, it's off the ground there. All right, it's gonna cause no problems. I think the only thing you would have to watch for is obviously bits of burning wood falling off the ends, but I can't see that being a problem if you keep an eye on your fire. All right, so. While we've got the fire going, we might as well get a brew on the go, eh? So as you can see, I've got a um, Crusader cup here. Obviously, I think you could fit something bigger on there as well, like a small frying pan, a bigger pot. Um, it seems stable enough and it can take a little bit of pressure. Um, so what we'll do is, we'll just get a cup going of water and then I'll make, make myself a nice cuppa. So there you have it really. Um, so that what there is, there'll be a link in the description below if you're interested. Okay. Um, I think the retail, let's have a quick look. I'll just quickly get my phone. I'll see what the retail at, because I've already on that page. Um, you can buy these from Amazon. They cost, well, they were 32 pound. They're now 20, 25 pound 99. Okay. And uh, let's have a look, see if it's got anything that it says on it. It's a lightweight collapsible uh, grill, folding 304 stainless steel, campfire pit and picnic, outdoor portable barbecue, small size. So obviously they might have the, they might have the larger size as well. Um, so I think the larger size, you can sit about um, four people around it and cook for four people. I think on, I've, I've cooked for four people on smaller fires than this. You know what I mean? So it just it just all depends what you want to do, really. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this small little video about this fire pit. If you're interested, check out the links below. Don't forget, please leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Okay. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.